Uh, it's also Teen Wolf's coming January 26th. Oh, the movie? Okay, sweet. And they released a scene that is spoiler. Hello, everybody. I am Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching, the first trailer, teaser trailer for Wolfpack. It's New York City Comic Con yep. and an extremely busy weekend for us. But yeah. you know what? We're doing this for you. <laughs> I am so excited. Before we start, I want to say it's apparently not a spinoff. They are driving that point home. I think that is a extremely missed opportunity and or a misdirect. I think Jeff Davis lies. <laughs> But now we said it. If we know one thing about showrunners, they lie through their teeth. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm also curious to see, considering that it's not a spinoff, if it has a slightly different visual identity. Oh, okay, yeah. Also, Sarah Michelle Gellar's in this. I'm so excited. And don't forget to tell everybody who might be watching this but isn't watching our normal stuff that... Will and Rachel are doing reactions to... We are watching Teen Wolf. The TV series Teen Wolf. Which Starting will, season one, episode yeah. one, proper reactions. Yeah. Three of them are out now. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to have one a week until we're done, yeah. um, but for the movie. So <laughs> like and subscribe and head on over and watch that. All right, let's do it. There is a large fire. Uh-oh. Okay, font is different. What did she see? She looks so good. She looks amazing. He's cute, too. He's really cute. And bite! <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> You're like us now. Just like us. Ah. I forgot about Rodrigo. Looks like we still have some raves. My favorite's the one with two heads. <laughs> Obsessed. I'm so excited. No, I it does. It looks like. Yeah. I mean, it looks like Teen Wolf, but in in the good ways. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, t t to be rid of some of the baggage, because let's be honest, yeah. we love Teen Wolf. It accumulated some baggage as it went. But I also love that we're starting with a pack. Mm -hmm. That we're starting with like a built-in group that's going to have okay. all their own dynamics and stuff. My issue. It depends on what we mean by spinoff. Yeah. I want it to be the same world. Sure. It's weird to do the exact same thing, like just, werewolves. Just and a in pack. slightly northerner yeah. California. <laughs> yeah, that's my issue. Is I'm like, why limit the possibility of having yeah. Tyler Posey and Holland Roden be able to come in for like, or like not even? I we don't even need that caliber of character, but like, even for like literally anybody to pop over, like the Carver twin that's mm -hmm. still kicking, you know, like that kind of stuff. We're gonna get a two headed werewolf. I mean, we haven't had something that good since the fisting werewolf twonks. <laughs> no, I am I am very, very interested, very excited. Uh, I wonder what it's going to be like on Paramount Plus. I wonder if, what the rating is going to be. Yeah, I don't um, know. It, we're huge Sarah Michelle Gellar fans. Oh, my God. Uh, Buffy's like, my favorite show of all time. It, and Teen Wolf's my favorite show. If you like Buffy, uh, she currently has a podcast, not, not another Buffy podcast. No, another, her, just another, another <laughs> podcast. <laughs> another Buffy podcast where her and friend of the show, Trevor, yeah. wax poetic. Quite. About Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We are midway through season three right now. Um, I, Sarah has been talking about the show. She said two, two tidbits I found really interesting. One was she was like, I've been given scripts like this mm -hmm. 2000 times because since Buffy and yeah. because of Buffy. And she was like, and I just wasn't interested in trying to do the same thing over again. And she was like, what's different this time is she was like, it was good. Yeah. She was like, I read the script and I was into it. She's and also been soft retired since that, uh, sitcom she was on with Robin Williams. Well, and a little bit before then. Yeah. I mean, they got married and, and I mean, they made their money yeah. and they had their family and I I respect it. And, and especially Also, her... they both do voice work for Star Wars so mm -hmm. they're doing great. But especially her reasoning for coming back and the way in which she's doing it and I think she looks fantastic. Oh my god, so good. I he really like that she looks older. Yeah. That she's she not, looks her age. She's not one of these Hollywood golems. 
that's <laughs> attempt. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, and she looks great. That, that this is that's all good. But uh, the other thing, I told you this off camera, but I'll tell it here because I thought it was fascinating. But uh, she's executive producing Wolfpack, and a writer, one of the uh, interviewer, asked her about that, her passion for that. And she was like, you know, I've been through a lot in this in industry. And she's like, and I can't change the past, but I can help to change the future. Yep. And she was like, there are young people on this show. And so she was like, when I signed on, she was like, I made it extremely clear on day one that anything involving them or that needs to be said to them or done with them yeah. has to go through me first, has yeah. to be cleared by her first. And I think that that's just it. Like <laughs> it says it all without saying anything. <laughs> it re well, it really does. But, but also it's just, it's so, I, I, I it, it's part of the change that we've been needing and craving and demanding mm -hmm. and, and to have it be from such a, powerful and iconic person and just as a young person i because if anything actually it would make me feel braver as a yeah. young actor absolutely because i would be like well I, i'm not being taken advantage of because mm -hmm. someone's looking out for me so i get to make these decisions for myself 100%. and not because i feel like i'm meant to she also this is not new from her either um one of the stories that has like stood the test of time about buffy is that she was a Dickler for onset safety mm. with the stunts and everything where like she would be the one that was like, I am not moving forward until we are sure that this is safe it's pretend. for everybody. Yeah. It's great. I just think mm -hmm. she's, I just think she's neat. <laughs> I'm really, I'm yeah. really excited. I'm a fan of Buffy. I, I missed the window where it was like formative for me. And so I'm so glad to, to now at 37 <laughs> be having a formative experience. I'm With Sarah kidding. Michelle Geller. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've been watching it like annually for 20 years. So... <laughs> It's amazing. So it. uh, we're so excited. Like I said, check out our other content and uh, watch the spot because we will be covering uh, Wolfpack yep. as it airs. So pew, pew, pew. like Bye. and subscribe and all that. <laughs>